friends welcome to optometry rails here we are going to discuss about the test which directly measures the fusional vergence this test assesses the fusional vergence amplitude and recovery for both distance and near here in this video we'll show you how a step vergence method is used to assess the amplitude of fusional vergence for both positive and negative fusional vergence that is PFB and NFB to perform this test one should require a prism bar distance and near visual equity chart and the test is performed after optimum correction it can also be done with the help of four optor which is considered as smooth vision test but step vision is effective for the patient especially the child who are very active and not responding reliably hence this test is more objective and examiner can observe when patient loses binocularity during the test blur break and recovery is noted for the distance and the near the prisms are introduced in front of the either eye and the vertical target of in it or one line above base corrected visual equity is shown the dioptric power of the prism is slowly increase in front of the eye till the patient start reporting blur This blur finding is the measure of the amount of fusional versions free of accommodation. The amount of prism is further increased till the target becomes double. This is the break point which indicates the amount of fusional versions and accommodative versions. After this break point, the amount of prism is reduced till the patient starts reporting single. This is recovery which provides information about the patient's ability to regain single binocular vision after diplopia please note that this test is performed first for the distance and the near and nfb should be tested first followed by the pfb while performing nfb place the prism bar in bezin direction and take subjective feedback as well as make a objective note for accuracy of the finding be ready Please note that the blur point is not reported for in a V at distance. Patient will report directly diplopia. Later, it will fuse to give the recovery. The normative PFV value for distance in adult is shown on the screen. Patient will not report any blur, but break should be between four to ten prism diopter, and its recovery should be between two to four prism diopter. Similarly, the PFV for distance is performed using base out prism bar. Blur, break, and recovery is noted. The normative value for it is displayed on the screen for the adult. Perform NFB for near using base in prisms by showing vertical target at near. Make a note for the blur, break, and recovery. Single lens here. Single lens here. Single lens here. The normative value for NFB for near is displayed on the screen. At last, perform PFV for near by placing prism bar in base out direction. Make a note for blur, break, and recovery, and look for the value within the normative range. These are the normative range for the children and adults. Hope this video was clear and informative. For detailed information, please check the description. Thank you for watching till the end. If you think this video was useful and informative, please like, share and subscribe. See you at the next video.